Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. I don't think this has ever appeared on video before. And I have had it for quite a few years now. You see, uh, every year there's a event called the Military Odyssey which goes on down here in somewhere in Kent. I don't know exactly where. Because it's a sort of event you just bang in the postcode into your sat nav and go. And in amongst the military reenactments, there's basically uh, boot fairs of Star Plus military gear. Well, this certainly isn't military gear, but it's certainly of the era of post World War II. Now, what this is is a radio receiver out of, you know, like the massive hi fi type units they had in the 50s, so there have been things like record players and amplifiers and whatnot and all that kind of 50s era hi-fi basically and it runs on good old valves also known as vacuum tubes but we shall refer to them as valves because that's what they're called over here in sunny old England and on the back we've got a nice big old fashioned lovely very cap which is absolutely beautiful there's inductor coils and all that goodness a nice four position clicky switch and the there's a little story behind obtaining this because it was mum was just like said to my brother don't let Simon buy any junk yeah well if it had been a comedy series it would have gone straight to the moment I picked this up and the chap at the stall said that's a pound mate to which then I departed a pound from my wallet and it was mine to carry around the event with me for the rest of the day. Fire the wires. Now the initial plan is to get this thing working but yeah I can't find chassis numbers or anything on it so probably the best bet to ever really get it working would be completely dismantle it and just rebuild it from the ground up using some of the original components but not all of them. Oh good, we're running out of space. Oh well, we'll have to be quick. There's plenty of the old wax capacitors which are so brown you can't see the values. Yeah, I should either dismantle this completely or actually work on restoring it at some point. Whichever comes first. But for those of you valve nut nutters out there who love your valves, much like I do, this one is a Cossor 7C6, which I think is a double triode valve. Yes, integrated circuits existed before these in the variants of integrated valves. Then we have a Corsa 7B7 and a Corsa.